We're Ashley and Jordan, and we've been traveling the world full time for three years in just a carry on. And a backpack. Here's how we do it. We both travel with the bigger carry on from Away Travel, not sponsored in any way. It's just what we chose at the beginning of our journey, and it's held up really well ever since. This bad boy is about 47.9 liters in capacity and weighs just over seven pounds. It does have the four wheels, so it's a 360 spinner, has the adjustable handle, TSA approved locks, as well as the optional extra battery bank. This thing is super durable. After three years being on a safari in the Masai Mara, going through Europe and be beaten on the cobblestone streets. Absolutely schlepping on the cobblestones. <laughs> it's held up really well. The only thing that has broken because it's been overpacked for three years is this right here, just this. We were both talking about it and we can't think of hardly anything we don't like about the Away bag. I do have one thing that I wish it had in Away, if you're listening, I do wish it had wheel brakes. I have a Delcy suitcase, hard side as well, that has a brake for the wheels, which is so nice when you're like on a hill or something and you need to step away from your four wheeled heavy piece of luggage, it starts to roll away. And with my other one, it doesn't do that. Room for improvement, I'd say. All right, let's get into travel gear. What is packed in here? How do we use it? What is it for? First thing is first, packing cubes. I think they're a little controversial. Some people love them, some people hate them. I used to be a packing cube hater, but oh. honestly, he's always loved them. They really do help you organize things. And on the off chance that you find yourself in the security line having to undo your suitcase for some reason, your undies aren't coming out. You know what I mean? Everything is locked and secure. These are the packing cubes from Away. They're perfectly acceptable. I will say we have packing cubes from a brand called Eagle Creek that I do find to be far superior, but in using the Away suitcase, the packing cubes from Away fit them perfectly, mm -hmm. especially on the height. My other packing cubes were shorter, these fit more, so they come with us. Yeah, when you travel full time, most places you go to, they might have a washer for you to wash your clothes. They rarely have a dryer. So we bring a little clothesline that's packable, good to go. Nestled in between all the clothes and packing cubes is a umbrella. Bless. Woo! Bless you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> this one is from a brand called Crown Coast. It isn't the smallest and it isn't the lightest, but it's small enough, light enough, and it has held up so well. Y'all, I don't know if you think about how dirty the bottom of all your shoes are, but you do not want to be putting your shoes in your suitcase with all your clean clothes, your hygiene stuff, and everything else, make sure you get a pair of shoe bags. We use the Yamiu, which we bought from Amazon. We have a couple of pairs of these each and they have always come in handy. They're machine washable. They come in two sizes. So if you get these, the gray have a smaller size and the black handle are a bigger size. And Jordan wears size 14, 14 in men's. I got some big feet. He's got some they flippers. Fit and they fit just fine. They have held up really well. In the same category, we have these bags that I got from Bagu, and I happen to actually love these because they're glow in the dark, all the little white parts glow in the dark. You can use them for shoe bags, you can use them for all kinds. This one is actually housing a ton of masks, and then this one is housing all the accessories to our travel adapter, which we'll show you in a second. Yeah. Next is this beefy baby, perhaps the most important container of all the containers we have. This is our toiletry kit, our bathroom bag, as we like to call it. We'll get into the details of what's all inside of this. This is from eBags. I believe it's their larger size, and this puppy contains everything. This is usually in my backpack, but mm -hmm. these are compression socks from the brand Comrade. Highly recommend, especially on long plane rides. You know your feet swell up and you just feel like they're gonna swell up and fly away. Oh, I hate that feeling. Compression socks make them feel so much better. Or after a long day of walking, put them on in the evening, you'll feel better. This may seem like TMI, it may seem silly. This is a Kula cloth. I highly recommend it. It's mostly for hiking, but basically what this is, is an antimicrobial fabric cloth meant for anybody who needs to go number one out in the wilderness and wipe. You can wipe with this, don't use it for number two. It's antimicrobial, you can use it a couple times and you can wash it. There just might not be toilet paper, especially maybe in yeah, like sure. less developed places. It's a really nice to have. All right, let's go through some of the stuff in my. The much tidier, much lighter suitcase of the two. <laughs> I am very particular with 
where all my stuff goes, keep it very clean and flat. This here is our grocery bag. Honestly, it's one of our favorite things to do when we get to a new city, a new country, anywhere, is go shopping at a local market or the grocery store and see all the fun and interesting and unique items that they have there. We also like to not waste a lot of plastic and use a lot of plastic, so we bring our own little canvas grocery bag with us. We also like to not be charged for plastic bags at the grocery store <laughs> because throughout Europe and most places around the world now, plastic bags are maybe 10 cents each. Yep. So save the planet, save your wallet, get your own bag. Mm. This and this mm -hmm. are two of our other favorites. These are pack towels from the brand pack towel. There's lots of different brands that make different kinds. They are they're quick awesome. drying. They're a blanket. They're a beach towel. They're a picnic blanket. Sometimes they're a pillow. Mm -hmm. They are just freaking handy. They're awesome. I love them. Other thing we also really love is our packable duffel bag that we got from REI, y'all. We don't use this all the time in every country we're in, but if we're doing a lot of local travel in a destination, whether it be a long road trip or hopping between countries in Europe on a train, we'll just unload the duffel bag and we might stuff groceries in there. Or if we just didn't feel like packing everything so neatly and tightly in every way that it goes, we stuff it in here and we move along. When we were doing Christmas markets and we needed to bring home presents, yeah. I was able to buy everybody Christmas mm -hmm. presents, stuff it in here, bring it as my carry on, good to go. And it was like, $15 or less from REI. Yep. Highly recommend. And you can use your pack towels to pad everything that's in there. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Last thing that is in our suitcases is our dirty laundry bag. This came with the away bag. We love it, no complaints whatsoever. It also washes in the machine just fine. That's about everything for inside the suitcase. Let's look inside my backpack. All right, thank you, sir. This is the Pack Safe City Safe Anti Theft Backpack. My goal for looking for a backpack when we first started was that I needed it to be not ugly and I needed it to fit my computer and everything else I wanted to bring. And I wanted it to have some anti theft features. And when I went looking for anti theft care, like purses and backpacks, they were ugly until I found this bad boy, which was on back order. And I waited and waited and I finally got it. First things first, it holds a full size water bottle. This is an older version that we've had since the very beginning. It's the Grayel Ultralight. The newer version is called the Ultra Press and we are looking to upgrade here soon. But basically what it is, is a water filtering water bottle. So no matter where we go, whether it's Southeast Asia, out on a hiking trail, or just generally wanna make sure that the tap water wherever we are is not suspicious. It comes apart, you fill up the bottom portion and then press it through the filter and voila, you have delicious, healthy drinking water. You can replace the filters over and over again and this puppy is sturdy. In this side, I pack our Septix adapter, travel adapter, two plugs, two USB, and a USB-C on the side. We keep all the different adapters inside our suitcase. We love it. We also have a extra, extra long cell phone charger cord in the side, because you always need access to that. We highly recommend getting the longest, toughest cell phone charger cord you possibly can, because the outlets never seem to be where you want them to be. I also made a slight upgrade to my backpack, because after after traveling with it for several years, I had really worn down the padding on these straps. So I went on Amazon and I just bought a couple of padded backpack straps. They're a little beefy, they're a little bulky, but my shoulders thanked me and it's fine, they blend in. Now for the anti-theft features, wait for it. This is pretty dang cool. The straps themselves have steel cables going through it. They can't be cut off of you. This strap unclips. You can wrap it around whatever you want. That way, if I'm not looking, it can't be just like jacked and taken from me. Probably my favorite of the anti-theft features is this front zipper because it's the most easy thing to access when my backpack is on my back. You can't just unzip it easily. You have to like push it through the little loop and then continue on. So it gives me a little bit of peace of mind knowing that no one's just rifling through when I'm not looking. On the top, the zippers close in a number of ways. First off, they link together to create a little loop and then you can buckle it on. And then from there, you have to unattach them because they attach together to then get into the backpack. At first it was a little bit annoying, lots of like getting through, but honestly the peace of mind, it's worth it. In the inside we have a full size MacBook laptop, padded laptop sleeve, love it. I also always travel with two little document folders, one for <laughs> important papers that I'm throwing around and one that I bring empty in the beginning because I fill it with basically souvenir papers i.e. boarding passes and things. I just like to keep those because we can't buy souvenirs when we travel. 
Next, we have our Bose headphones. On an airplane, these are invaluable. I have the Quiet Comfort 2, and Jordan has the same ones, but the Bluetooth version, basically. Mine have wires, his do not. We recommend them either way. They've held up really well. For me, I have my makeup bag. And yes, I keep my makeup bag in my backpack as part of my system I like to call keep it with you or lose it. Anything that is very, very critical, you need to keep it on your person on travel days, whether that is medication you need to take, your toothbrush, an extra pair of undies, maybe your makeup, whatever it is that if it got lost with your lost luggage and you couldn't be without it for even half of a day, it needs to be on your person. So my makeup comes with me. On the inside inside, it has a zipper pouch that is actually RFID blocking. So I keep extra credit cards and things inside there zipped up so nobody can skim them. At the bottom, we have two very cushiony eye masks. I hold both Jordan and I's together just so they don't get lost. These are from Nidra and my mom actually found them on Amazon and gifted them to us. And then some of my friends ended up getting them too because they are just very comfortable. They're a molded foam, but they have a lot of space for your actual eyeball and your eyelash. So nothing is actually sitting on you, which is great for if you're wearing makeup or if you just don't like having things touching your eyes while you sleep. They also completely block all light. We always like to travel with some travel utensils. These are from a brand called Package Free. We have a couple others that are just regular plastic. These are bamboo. They have a cute little carry case that also has a carabiner if you wanna attach it to the outside of your bag. We have chopsticks, a knife, a spoon, and a fork, and these come in handy all the time. And as far as the interior, last but not least, is my North Face rain jacket. This is a waterproof jacket that I only just recently got, and so far, so good, love it. I always roll it up and stuff it inside the hood of the jacket and put it at the bottom. In my mind, it provides extra cushion for my laptop or everything else, so that whenever I set my backpack really hard, at least this is on the bottom, cushion the water. This is where I keep my airport bags. This is from a brand called Aircourt, which I highly recommend. It's held up very well because some airports are especially particular about the liquids rules. So I keep all of my liquids in here, clear container that I can use over and over again. Inside of here, we have hand sanitizer, both of our toothbrushes. And on the toothbrushes, we use the Steripod toothbrush covers. We also use the Steripod cover for our razors. We have travel size toothpaste, lots and lots of floss for some reason. Apparently we don't wanna be without floss. Anytime an airline gives me the disinfectant wipes, I take an extra and keep it because germs. We have some travel size ibuprofen. We have travel size Dramamine. We are both very prone to motion sickness. Very convenient. This is the Sea to Summit hand sanitizing wipes. They also make kind of just regular non-sanitizing wipes. I really love Sea to Summit. They're very handy anytime you don't have access to a sink and you just feel kind of grubby you can get clean. I also carry a handful of individually wrapped Gin Gins. This is basically also for motion sickness, but they're not full on Dramamine because Dramamine will make you so groggy. These are basically little ginger candies that kind of help a tummy ache a little bit, you know? And lastly, I always keep some candy with us. Having just a little something sweet sometimes when a flight's not going well or we're pissed, I'm like, here you go, got you a piece of candy. It helps. We have a mask, because you still need those. I have so many pens because you need pens for forms and you just don't want to run out. So many pens. I also have a backup pair of headphones. This is just your regular, regular iPhone headphones. Jordan also travels with the Bose noise canceling earbuds that are not over the ear. They're just inside and he absolutely loves them. The little case fits right in your pocket. Love. Last is all of our documents and importance. We've got vaccine card, other vaccines for things like yellow fever and all that that we needed to go other places, international driving permit for when you need to rent a car, and of course, a couple of passports. I highly, highly recommend picking a single place, either in your backpack or your purse or whatever, where your passport goes. No matter what, every time that's where you put it back so that you are never like, where did I put my passport? It's in the same pocket, in the same place, put it in the same way. We haven't had any issues yet. <sighs> All right, I am not gonna go through everything that's in my backpack because it is 99% camera and filming equipment. And that is gonna be a whole separate video in the future that we'll post soon. But I do wanna get into a couple of the travel gear items that I recommend. We are out in the sun a ton. So I recommend getting a hat. I use one of the J. Crew hats, the dry bag. We use 
the AquaQuest, and we highly recommend this. We travel obviously with a lot of camera equipment, so we need this when we go on boat tours or any activity where we're gonna be near a lot of water. Even if you don't have a ton of camera equipment, because you might wanna put your phone in there, your headphones if you bring that with you, and you're gonna get wet or get rained on. Also have a pair of sunglasses. I like one of the Ray-Ban polarized versions. I also really recommend the Radix One Slim Wallet. That's where I put some of our credit cards and some of our documents that I take with us. I really don't like all the big bulky wallets and this thing is literally two pieces of like metal and a rubber band and it's awesome. And last thing, I also have a gray water bottle. Let's see what's in our bathroom bag. I'm always tasked with packing the bathroom bag, so I will be the one to unveil and explain. Once again, this bag is from eBags. I believe it's their larger toiletry bag. If you fold it all the way out, it has a little hook that's surprisingly strong. You can hang up the entire thing. It also has a little mirror, which believe it or not comes in handy because sometimes you're without a mirror for some reason. I'm just gonna unpack it and show you what we pack in our bathroom bag. Starting closest to you, we have heavy duty bug repellent. This is the Ultrason insect repellent. If you're gonna be anywhere that's beyond just mosquitoes, in the woods, hiking, whatever, highly recommend. Deodorant for me, deodorant for Jordan. Full size toothpaste, almost full size sunscreen for the body. We also have a big old sunscreen for the face. We wear face sunscreen every single day. We have my face wash, lotion, and Jordan's face wash. And these are from the brand GoTubes. They're little silicone tubes that you can refill. They also have a neat little feature. They can kind of lock in place so they don't come open. These are 100 mils or 3.4 fluid ounces, so they are in line with airline regulations. You can put whatever you want in them. In the middle, kind of biggest compartment is a hairbrush. We share one because we don't care and we just found the smallest, most decent hairbrush we could. Some melatonin. Every time we have a huge adjustment as far as time zone, melatonin in the first couple of nights really helps. We have a whole bunch of hair ties because as you know, you'll lose them all the time more hair ties, a little lint roller. Don't use it all the time, but when you need it, you need it. A nail file. I purchased this a long time ago and it's actually like a metal nail file so I can wash it and reuse it over and over and it's held up really, really well. And last in the middle compartment, we have shampoo and conditioner. We use Kristen S. These fit so perfectly inside the little sleeves. And honestly, that's why I keep rebuying them over and over. You can get them at Target. When we first were traveling, I was concerned about first aid and like, what should I bring? What would we need? But honestly, I think the biggest thing to remember is that wherever you go, it will have a store. You can buy Band-Aids, you can buy lotion, you can buy shampoo. You can probably get whatever you need because probably wherever you're going, people also live there too and they need the same things. We have a plethora of Band-Aids. Probably the most important are like blister Band-Aids because that tends to be what we have issues with. Pepto-Bismol, we have some Claritin, allergy meds, more Band-Aids, more Band-Aids some pimple stickers, and some Sudafed because sometimes you get sick. This pouch has become just like where I stuff random extra things, but we have nail polish. I do my nails on my own on the road, obviously. So I just picked a color that I was always happy with and a clear coat. So at least I can paint my nails. And lastly, we have some 3M medical tape, either for covering maybe your heel, if a Band-Aid isn't really holding up on a blister or just whatever you need. We seem to need it every once in a while. In the smaller of the side zippers, we have more hand sanitizer. We have the teeny tiniest hairspray because sometimes you just actually do need hairspray. We have Afterbite. I have been using this my entire life. My grandma used to use it on us. I get mosquito bites all the time put a little dab of this on it, and it, it just takes the itch off a little bit, enough to make you comfortable. Nail clippers, this is Kristen S hair serum that basically, my hair's dry, I use this. If I have frizzies, I use this. If I want like a sleek ponytail, put this on it. It works for everything. This is the razor, little clippy to cover the sharp part, nothing fancy there. And this is some bug spray, mostly just for mosquitoes that we picked up in Thailand. And it works pretty well, so we just keep using it. The brand is Sofel. And that is everything out of our toiletry bag. Highly recommend the bag itself. We've had it from the beginning. It has never torn or gave us any grief whatsoever. And it packs everything we need for two people. Now we're gonna show you how each of us organizes and packs our carry-on suitcase. I have 15 shirts short and long sleeve, 12 pairs of boxer briefs, nine pairs of socks. I have a rain jacket and a sweater. Controversial opinion, I do not like rolling my clothes. I prefer to pack them flat because I think that's the best way to maximize space. Let me show you how. So the way I like to pack my shirts and tops, fold the sleeves in and just fold it in half. Very simple and everything 
sits evenly throughout the whole suitcase. Like literally this fits in one side perfectly and I can just flat pack every single thing in this packing cube and set it in this side of the suitcase. So my boxer briefs all go in here and all my socks go in here. Put this in and everything packs super smoothly. I like to put my dirty laundry at the bottom of one side of my suitcase and then cover it with my dirty laundry bag with some of the stuff in it. And then I put the side of my packing cube that isn't breathable on top of that so I can cleanly separate my clean laundry from my dirty laundry and also have it all fit very neatly in this side of my suitcase. And on this side, I have a grocery bag, as we showed earlier, the two pack towels, the duffel bag, six pairs of shorts, including one pair of swim trunks, four pairs of pants, two pairs of shoes as well, all fitting in this side of my suitcase. What I like to do is I have Chacos in here, which by the way, highly recommend a pair of black Chacos. I basically just set them side by side, put them at the bottom, and then over here, I start with my pants. I like to alternate which side the waist of the pants are on because that's the bulkiest part of my pants. And then on top of that, I'll just do the same thing with my shorts. Slowly put those in and kind of just stack them. Then I put one pair of my shoes on top of the Chacos. And then I just kind of put the duffel bag on top, put the pack towel, put the other one down at the bottom, put the grocery bag on top, and voila, that's it. How I fit everything that we full-time travel with in a carry-on suitcase. Okay, we're gonna do a little exercise where I show you how I fit everything in. So we're just gonna take everything completely out and put it back together. Okay, we have a nice empty suitcase. This is how I like to put everything together. I organize my stuff into three cubes, big, medium, and tiny. The tiny one is full of about two weeks worth of underwear, all my scarves, all my bras, a pair of Spanx, and a little silk slip for under dresses, socks. In the middle one, I have thick warm socks. And then I'm gonna have all my tops, so tank tops, t-shirts, blouses, everything and I also have a pair of pajamas. And then in the big one is gonna be all of my dresses and bottoms. So jeans, pants, full length dresses, skirts, that kind of stuff, larger items. So we put the big heavy guys at the bottom and then medium goes in and I kind of smush him. He's meant to go this way. Mm. Smushy, more room. Now we have a nice little hole right here that we've created and that's perfect for other random things. We're gonna make our straightener fit, why not? These are closed, they're smushy. You're gonna take the thick part of the straightener, you're gonna move it over into the hole. Also in the hole, we're gonna put prescription medication, Advil. Nice, fits perfect. I'm a chaotic packer. If I see a space, I'm gonna fill the space, you see? We have Beauty Blender and some makeup applicator. Mm. There's space here, Beauty Blender can smush, it gets smushed right there. We're looking good. But before we put the bathroom bag in, I've created a real life scenario whereby I have dirty clothes that are like dirty, dirty, and then I have clothes that are worn once but not dirty, dirty. I pack them nice and flat, folded, because we are not a rolling household, as Jordan mentioned. And I just take up all the space I can, making it as flat as possible. And I put those under here, kind of paying attention to where bulk is building up and then bouncing out the bulk. Now we're gonna put this on top and stuff it and like really stuff it into the corners. Stuffed shoe bags. In this bag, we have a pair of cute sandals, a pair of Birkenstocks. And in this bag, we have a pair of Nikes and a pair of Tevas, like water sandals. And then I will wear my sneakers on travel day every time. Slide it under there, push everybody to one side. Once again, feel around, fold everybody up, slide it in. And we're gonna make sure everybody's pushed down to the bottom, tucking as we go. I used to put this in my backpack, but I found that I never needed it that badly on a travel day and it was just taking up room and I made it fit in here. So once again, we just kind of, we just kind of stuff things underneath and it just seems to work out, you know? It just seems to work out. Then we have our mask bag, which 
I look forward to the day when I don't need that in here. Our travel adapter accessories. We have clothing line that I'm responsible for. Once again, we just kind of smoosh. And then the real smoosh is my, this is, this would be a lot of dirties. I would try very hard not to have this many dirties on a travel day, but let's pretend that I did. Yikes, yikes, that would, that would be hard. We're just constantly tucking things under. Like this one, everything zips real nice, nice. If you just make sure it's constantly tucked underneath. So we tuck, 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 and we zip, zip, zip. Okay, and y'all just saw how absolutely, utterly overstuffed that is. I do this every time and it still hasn't broken. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna just get nice and tight. Once again, I'm just stuffing the corners down underneath. Here we go. <clears throat> you can't just close it like so. No, no, no. You need to lift so you can make the connection there. No worries. I did it. Are you impressed? I'm impressed. Every time I do it, I'm impressed with myself. And that is how I pack it. And it always has a cute little belly on it. But she's holding in there. She's hanging in there. Okay, that will wrap up this packing video. We probably definitely missed on some details. So if you have any questions at all, just drop them in the comments and we'll be there to answer them. And again, if you wanna help support us to keep us on the road, shop the products in the description below. We'll see you on the next one.